Hey guys, it's Felicia. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I have used up. And this is kind of a crazy, weird video because I'm basically showing you guys all of my trash. If you really think about it, I'm going to be telling you if I am going to repurchase the items, if I'm just going to be tossing them out and never buying them again, or if I already purchased it because I have a few that I already stocked up on. So I'm going to get started first with this Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. I absolutely love this body butter and I basically use it every single day. I still have a little bit around the edges, but that will be gone in a day or two. So I just decided to include it still. I have raved and raved and raved about this enough. If you go watch my whole 2013 favorites video, this is one of the products that I have mentioned in that video. Next are makeup wipes and these are from Pacifica and these are the coconut water purified makeup wipes. These are paraben free, natural, 100% vegan and they smell just like coconuts and the beach and I absolutely love these for removing all of my makeup. Next is a deodorant that I picked up from Sephora and it's from the brand Anthony and this is an aluminum free deodorant. I'm still trying to find the best aluminum free deodorant out there. So if you guys have any recommendations, just let me know them in the comments down below or even a natural aluminum free deodorant. That would be ideal for me. Two products from Lush that I used up. The first one is the Cupcake Mask and I just really like treating myself and purchasing this whenever I am by the Lush store because it smells like pure chocolate and the ingredient in this face mask is chocolate so it looks brown when you put it on. And I really like this a lot. It just smells like cupcakes and cake batter and chocolate. But I clean this out completely because when you bring in five empty pots, you get a fresh face mask for free. So it's on here. So I have a couple. I think I have about three. The next empty pot that I have that I can use for that is Lovely Jubblies. And this is basically a firming cream for your chest, your arms, your neck anywhere where you feel that you need your skin to be a little bit more firm. Now when I used this, I did not feel like my skin got really firm or anything, but I do really like the scent of this lotion, but it was about $20, so I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this item anytime soon. For lip products, I actually used four lip products, which is crazy because I have so many, but I kept going back to these Nivea lip butters. I finished the regular scented one, it's just called Smooth Kiss, and I really like using these for before I go to bed because I feel that they stay on throughout the entire night. When I wake up in the morning, they are still on my lips, which is great. So the next one that I use is called Caramel Cream Kiss, and this one smells just like caramel. They're really nice. I really recommend those. The next lip product, and it's a little sample that I got, and it's from the brand Fresh, and it's just the sugar lip balm. And again, this was a sample, so it had maybe like that much in it. I looked up the price on these online, and they are pretty pricey for a lip balm. And they're very, very similar to Nivea lip balms, the texture and everything. So I'm not going to be repurchasing that one. And I also finished one whole candy cane chapstick lip balm and these smell amazing and they were actually on sale after Christmas so I stocked up on three little gift sets so I have nine right now kind of a lot but I go through these so quick for makeup the only makeup item that I finished is this Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer and I really like this it was very brightening underneath my eye the color I got was ivory and all in all, this was a really great concealer. And last but not least, I finished two different hair products. The first one is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. If you have very knotty hair, I definitely recommend getting the Tangle Teaser or the Wet Brush in combination with the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This is seriously a miracle, and it leaves your hair very, very soft and moisturized, and it's so easy to brush through your hair with this and I definitely recommend this product to everybody and anybody. And another hair product is this Moroccan oil, and I'm actually pretty sad about this because it was really expensive, and I just laid this down in my hair product drawer, and I decided to get it out one day, and I realized that all of the oil came out of this. It was about halfway full, 
so I really didn't get to use it all up but I mean it's empty now it's nothing in it but I laid it down and all of the oil came out and it was all on my curling irons and all of my other hair products it was just a hot mess and it was so strong the scent if you ever had this before you know how strong it is and um, I was just really sad because it was a lot of money and I hmm, I should have been more careful so I really do like this product maybe if I get a good deal on it I'll repurchase it but for now I'm not going to be repurchasing that oh and another thing is I already repurchased another it's a 10 <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching my video I hope to see you all very soon just for a little FYI I am going to be getting my wisdom teeth out on Monday and I'm not sure if I'm going to be making a lot of videos I'm trying to pre-film some videos for you guys but um, yeah wish me luck and if you ever had your wisdom teeth out just let me know your experience down below because some people had good experiences some people had bad experiences I just wanna get prepared you know so I will see everybody very soon bye